Hi there, my name is Paul Berlin. I'm with Layer Realty Partners in the Merrimack Valley, Massachusetts here, serving your real estate needs. And uh, it is a pleasure to talk with you today. Today, we're gonna discuss the topic of how to strategically use price reductions for your benefit as a seller. Thank you for being on board. And what we wanna do is we wanna share four or five uh, techniques for making a price reduction effective and utilizing that strategy to improve your sale. So first and foremost, when is the best time for you to implement a price reduction? Would it be after a property has been on the market for three or four weeks without any showings? Yes. If you have not had any showings and no offers over a period of 30 days, then the basic rule of thumb is that your property may be as much as 10% overpriced. And if there's absolutely no activity whatsoever, um, it could be even more than that. If in fact you've had offers, but they've been low and you've had some moderate activity, it's possible the price may be simply 5% over its true market value. Next question, how are price reductions viewed by buyers? Well, buyers always see a price reduction as an advantage because as the price comes down, the buyers see the property as being more affordable, especially in light of the other competition. So never assume that a price reduction is gonna work against your best interest with buyers. Next, what is the advantage that a price reduction will create? Well, first and foremost, the advantage that a price reduction will create for your listing is it makes it more beneficial than other properties that are in the same uh, segment of the market because your property then becomes a better bargain. Next, how will a price reduction affect the competition? Well, the price reduction is such that it will affect the competition by causing your listing to be shown more frequently. It will increase the number of times that your property will generate an offer. In most cases, it will cause your property to sell in a shorter period of time. Next, what happens when the list price actually falls below market value? Well, one of the great uh, realities of a free marketing system, a, a free market such as what we have here in the capitalist economy of the United States is that when a list price actually declines and falls below the market value, what happens is buyers who are exposed to that property through the multiple uh, aspects of social media and, uh, and marketing will find that that lower price actually is such that it's such a bargain that buyers will flock to the property. So the property value has a way of rectifying itself because when a property is listed below market value, in many cases, it generates uh, multiple offers to bring the value back up to equal or above market value. If you have any questions about this or any other real estate topics, feel free to reach out to us here. My name is Paul Berlet. I'm with Leia Real Partners. A pleasure to talk to you today. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, if you want to reach us, call the number on the screen, or you can reach us online at www.homesrs.com. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you next time.